Oh, what is up YouTube? I am shutting the lights off. We are heading to the ranch. Uh, gotta stop by there first to get some straps because we gotta get some round bells um, for the barn. So anyway, long story short, let's just let's just jump into this. Um, oh, it's pretty echoey in here. I'm on the verge of like moving everything over from TikTok to YouTube. As long as Zach is, Zach's definitely doing it. It's just, it's just hard for me to figure out YouTube because I don't know how to edit. And also, <laughs> we got the Cummins out here today. You bet. Um, but anyway. I just don't have like an everyday thing that I do. Um, Zach's a farmer, so Zach can farm. Uh, I just, I just don't. His content's a lot easier to be able to post than mine is, and so I just don't know. I don't know how to how to really go about it. Um, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna we're gonna do this little vlog vlog deal today with just. Uh, Hanging with BMO, what BMO does on his dailies every now and then. Uh, so right now, we're getting hay um, stored for the winter. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, we went through a construction zone. Um, this the two G doesn't like it. <clears throat> but anywho, it's time to. Uh, what do they say? Pop Scott and roll or something like that. I don't know if you know. So. We're out. We're headed. We're headed north. All right, we are pulling into the old Dollar General. Yeah, gotta get me a Milo sweet tea. And maybe a ski. If they got ski here. I don't know if they have ski or not. Usually Casey's has a uh, ski. And if you ask me what Casey's is, then you don't even need to know. You don't even need to know. And you don't need to know what ski is either if you don't know what that is. So yeah, let's go in here. Let's go get. Let's go get some Milo sweet tea. <laughs> I saw I'm currently at the ATM. I cannot, um, can't pull my truck in here. So we are out on foot. Got to get some cash withdrawal from the savings account. So this hay that we are getting is CRP hay. So CRP is uh it's a government program where like you like let your field grow up all year the government pays you basically not to but not to mow your field no dash oh huh. hey baby what are you what is i didn't know you're still there yeah crazy crazy grapes grapey grapes brother likes to think that uh his john deere pliers are cool but that's what that's what brother uh B brother bmo has case i eight pliers danny just remember that my uh straps what is this i don't know what that is these are my gloves i don't need this either that's not mine grandpa <coughs> i'm tired of coughing tired. one thing i really wish i had was a flatbed like literally that's a lot i just i don't know i see zach's flatbed on his duramax and i just think that it would look really good on my truck take the bed off you know keep it you know but the little little chrome flatbed on her dude this thing this thing look good this thing would look good little farm truck with horses uh, yeah all right guys so we went and got the uh hay trailer from the sale barn and uh ended up having a flat tire on it so me and dad are out here fix put jack underneath the trailer and uh fix the tire on it on our new tire machine that me and my dad went in on half and half ah i can't do this one-handed hold on up here she is. She's a dandy. Can I get this? Well, luckily, we didn't have to uh, change the tire. She just needed aired up. So took the valve stem out, and now we're pumping. I'm waiting, waiting for the tire to air up. Sixty pounds. We're running eighty. You bet. She's been in the family for a while, but she's been at the sale barn for years. And all these tires have no air in them, so. I sit and wait and air up four tires. We got the tires aired up on the trailer, and I uh, mean, Dad's gonna go back and find the the rest gate. What'd you call it? Like, just a rest gate? Yeah, just a bump stop or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call it. Whatever Tommy thinks. Whatever he thinks we're doing. So me and Dad are out in the back. 
right now. Uh, we found our, I don't know what you guys call this, a hay stopper. I, I don't know, we found it finally. So it's bent to shit right now. <clears throat> Dad uh, pressed a little too hard on it and uh, busted the weld right here. Nice. So we're not even gonna weld it. We're not, we don't even care. We're just gonna hold this hay and it'll be all right. We don't even need it. We're well, Tommy, what do you think, dude? I don't know. He don't know? All right, well. Don't pay me enough to I don't pay him enough. That is a poopy, poopy Kubota Trader. What's your favorite Trader, Dad? International. International, you bet. All right, guys, we got the uh, hay loaded down. Just got one strap over the front one so I don't roll forward on my truck. Whatever I break. So, here we go. We gotta go and hook the bush hog on the John Deere at the, at the ranch and uh, put the hay poker on it and then unload these suckers into the barn. So, you bet. I'm in the John Deere. I'm gonna go blow off the bush hog and then unhook it underneath the lean to for the rest of the winter and then go get the hay poker. So, <laughs> yes, sir. Back. Uh, Dad's gonna. Father Tom's gonna blow her off for me. What a guy. What a guy. What? Look at him use that thing. He just, he just knows what he's doing. It must be a dad thing. But my grandpa is like a clean freak, right? And the only thing he doesn't do is clean off his bush hog after he gets done using it. He, I think he just waits for me to do it. I gotta pull it up and boss me around. Okay, I reckon that's good enough. I don't know. Just sitting here and watch him do it, I guess. I don't know. Look at him. Look at him use that thing. Be good. This might be hard to do with my phone. I don't know. We'll see if we can do it. Yeah, we got her. All right, we got the hay poker on. We got the bush hog underneath the lean to, and uh, now we're gonna go put some bales in the barn. I gotta go move another. We got a Ford tractor inside the barn that we're gonna have to move. Now that the tractor's out of here, last year when my sister got married in here, uh, we had to move all of our hay that is right here now. We had to move it over here. So this is where all the round bales are gonna be going because it's easier getting in here with the tractor. So now I gotta dump uh, all that hay out for the goats because that's all nasty hay. I am gonna guess I'm gonna transport it in this wheelbarrow but uh, I'm gonna have to dump the manure out of there. Got the bales I could get out of here in the wheelbarrow, but uh, strings are rotten from the mice chewing on them. So got the hay fork and we're gonna load it all up now. All right, so got all the old square bales, um, all the rotten ones out of the way. So now we're gonna put these new round bales where those old ones were and uh, go about the rest of my day. So we got all of our hay in here um, for the winter. Got 75 square bales, and then we got five round bales over here in the corner. Uh, I'm gonna take the 400, and I'm gonna give Abby a shovel, 
and then we're gonna be mucking stalls and putting in some sawdust here for our horses. I think after we get done uh, with the sawdust, we're gonna give the old 400 a bath. <laughs> give her a little choke, see? Yeah, baby! Look at that! John Deere power, baby! Doing a good job, Abs. Good job. Oh, I'd be mad if the bucket did fit in between the stalls. I'd be mad, honestly. But it gives Abby something to do, so. I'm just the operator. So I decided to be a nice big brother and help Abby throw the rest of the sawdust in there because she wasn't doing it fast enough. Yeah. Good job, Abby. Here, take this down there, other man. Now we gotta go do another one. Call her a day for sawdust. So we got all the stalls um, filled up with sawdust. Abby is finishing up on the last one right now. Done. Okay, she's done. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go spray off this 400 because it needs a bath bad I'm time. Drink some of that hose water before you start. All right. So we're gonna check out this 400 real quick. Here's the 400. Uh, my grandpa gave this to me whenever I was probably 15, 14 or 15. And uh, it's just a sawdust tractor that we use here at the ranch. Um, it's just a lawnmower is all it is with a front end loader. Um, just decided to keep the front end loader on it because we need it here. We use it quite often, honestly. Um, hydros are going, or the rear end's about to go out of it. Uh, the reverse is kind of junky, but me and my dad made this weight bracket um probably five years ago i think it was and uh just because this those are supposed to have like like fluid in the tires but we took them out um yeah so there she is um i need to get a new seat for sure i think it's pretty rotten but uh other than that she'll look good after we give her a bath real quick all right well here she is all uh cleaned up nah we just rinsed her over the hose gonna put her back in the barn That's where she sits until next time. So now we're gonna get the Ford tractor over there and uh, bring her in here. There's gate open here. Honestly, a really big fan of this uh, tractor. Like it a lot. Usually we use this for uh, our finish mower. There we go. Well, that basically sums up uh, my day today. Got the hay in the barn, tractors in the barn. Uh, got the sawdust in the stalls. Got Hank out here. He's a good boy. You need groom, buddy. We got Constance right here. She's a little butthead. Ain't you, girl? Yeah. I was just let y'all know, if y'all ain't ever heard of ski, then you ain't doing it right. That's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. And you can't go wrong with uh, State Fair Corn Dog. I need that. That's all I've ate all day. I ain't had nothing else. Mm.